Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to go through and look at some of the Canon R6 Mark II's wedding photos and actually see how the camera performed in all three weddings that I shot over the last three weeks. As you can see, I've picked eight photos to actually edit from. I've actually picked a lot more to edit from, but for this video, I tried to keep it a little bit short and sweet. We're just going to go through, have a look at the pictures, see how they turned out, and then edit a few of them as well, just to actually see how they come out in the final edit. So what we'll do first, we'll have a look at this first one. We'll go over to the Develop tab in Lightroom. Basically, yeah, this was a nice little sunset photo. As you can see, there is a little bit of a lens flare there, mainly because I didn't use a lens hood. I love the backlight on their hair. As you can see, the glow around the hair and everything, it looks really nice. And yeah, so I was using 1 over 1250th of a second, f2.8 and ISO 400. I was at 120 mil with 70 to 200 f2.8, like I mentioned a minute ago. So as you can see, it looks uh, like a good photo in my opinion. Considering the sun was right there, it actually focused very well and it was very quick as well. So let's just have a look and start editing. And yeah, I don't think that's too bad to be fair. Uh, as a, just a quick go over, this is just literally analyzing some of the photos that we actually took on the wedding. So I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. I'm actually gonna move over to the next one, which is actually the cake cut. So this is getting more at nighttime. So we are at one 200th of a second, F2.5 and ISO 1600. And I'm using the RF 35 millimeter F1.8. And basically what I've done here is I am using a flash. So I'm using, uh, I think one of the Canon flashes. I'm not entirely sure on the name because I actually borrowed it from the other photographer that was there. I'm actually looking to buy mine very, very soon. And I'm looking at the Godox V1. This is why I was able to get away with 1600 ISO because I was using that flash and I was just bouncing it up off the ceiling because the ceiling was quite low. And I think this photo has come out really, really nicely. As you can see, really nicely sharp on a face. So I always like to say, is it nice and sharp looking at it at normal sized? And yes, it is. They're both perfectly in focus. The actual autofocus I was using was the whole area AF, I think. And I was just choosing which eye I wanted to focus on. So all I did was move the joystick to the left or right. And as soon as I moved the joystick from this eye, it locked on straight onto this eye. And if I moved it to the left again, it would lock onto his eye and then his other eye as well. And then if I actually moved it to the left as well, it would probably have locked onto someone back here. That's how good this camera actually is at tracking people's eyes. And the autofocus in the R6 Mark II is amazing. So I was obviously focused on her and I think this is a great photo. I'm using the flash 1600 ISO. Again, I'm not going to go too crazy on these edits, but overall, I think these have come out quite well. I think the Canon R6 Mark II is an amazing job. Everything's in focus that you want it to be in focus, the cake, the knife, and um, and especially using the flash, I think this photo came out brilliant. All right, then, so moving on to another wedding. So this is the second wedding that I actually shot, and this is just before they actually everyone turned up to the church, and they were just getting some nice little portraits outside. And this is just a standard portrait. I think that's his mum and I think that's his nan as well. So again, if we just a little bit too much headroom, if I just crop in slightly, I think that's a little bit of a better composition. That's looking a bit better. And straight away, I am actually going to use some of my uh, presets. So basically, I just looked at one. I think Dreamy Haze makes his photo very nice. And also Flat Film, sorry, Flat Film V2. I think that looks, uh, looks really nice as well. 
So, and film tone to be fair as well, that's not too bad, but I quite like the dreamy haze, so we're gonna just slap that on straight away. So as you can see, again, I used a 7200 f2.8 at 100mm, one over 250th of a second at f2.8 with ISO 400. I've just slapped a quick preset on, done a couple of changes, and again, this photo I think looks really good. I'm really happy with how the R6 Mark II is actually taking these photos. I think they look really nice, really colourful, and you can do a lot with this camera. Again, autofocus was amazing at the time. So let's just move on to the next one straight away, and this is personally my favourite photo of across all of the weddings at the minute, I think. Just because, one, I think it's a great photo. I think their reactions look really, really nice as well. The confetti looks beautiful. And again, it's really hard to like track focus with all this getting in the way of their faces all the time. And again, look, the Canon R6 Mark II has absolutely nailed the focus on both of them. It looks absolutely amazing. Again, the 7200 f2.8 at 102mm, one over 2,000 for a second at f2.8 ISO 320. This photo looks absolutely amazing. So let's start editing this photo. Let's just see what a quick preset looks like straight onto it. A dreamy haze, a little bit colorful, but again, straight away, that looks like an amazing photo. Flat film V2, like I said, again, that looks great as well. I'm really liking this one. Let's hit flat film V2 for this photo. Let's get the crop in, try and get a better crop. Let's center them a little bit more. maybe something like that that crop is a lot better and just look this photo looks really good i'm really happy with how the r6 mark ii has actually took this photo let's lift the shadows up let's make it really bright the whites are a little bit too high on flat film now as you can see if you press j they're all blown out but if you bring the whites back down and then lower the highlights a little bit as you can see they're not blown out anymore In this photo again it's not completely final but i think what the canon r6 mark ii has done is amazing the settings are there the autofocus is great the photos come out as amazing and it's just a joy to use like the actual ergonomics of the camera every time i pick up the eos r it just doesn't feel good the focusing is really bad the actual ergonomics of it with the joystick there's no joystick on the eos r Everything from the ergonomics to the photo final quality, using it on the day has been absolutely amazing. I'm so happy with the R6 Mark II. And this has definitely been one of my favorite photos that I've taken so far. I think this looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. And if you are enjoying this video so far, why not hit that subscribe button because I'm nearly at a thousand subs now and it would be great if you could help me towards that milestone just by hitting that subscribe button. But anyway, let's move on to the next photo, which is uh, just like a little portrait photo here. I really like this photo. You've got a little bit of the foreground in with this little bush here as well. She's looking at him. He's looking at the camera. I think this photo looks really good. Again, let's just see what it's like if you slap a preset on. Let's go flat film V2. That looks really nice. Let's look at Dreamy Haze again. That's okay if you tone it down a bit because you can uh, tone down the amount of the preset. So we actually might try that out. That's quite nice, the outdoor portrait. If I click on that, tone it down a little bit. Let's say that. Uh, 50% let's go for Thank you. 
70 to 200 again. There's a little bit of a trend here to see how good and how much I absolutely love the 70 to 200. I think so far there's only been one photo that wasn't the 70 to 200. I just love this lens so much. As you can see, to get f2.8, we had to shoot at one over five thousandth of a second because it was such a sunny day. We're at 150 millimeters. Look how sharp she is looking at him. This camera is amazing. And if you don't know, it's like if you haven't seen so far why this camera is so good. I'm sure these photos and final actual shots are showing you how good this, this camera actually is. Again, let me know what you think to this actual photo as well. The next one, I've gone for a little bit of a different one. You can see that telephoto reach at 200 mil going straight down that driveway. One five thousandth of a second, f2.8 again, ISO 250. And straight away, let's just slap some of them presets on because we don't want this video to last too long. That's outdoor portrait, nice and colourful, but it's a little bit too much. That's a pretty cool one, cool dramatic, I like that one. Dreamy Haze, I think looks lovely on this one. Let's look at Flat Film V2 again. That looks nice, I really like Flat Film. I think this photo, again, looks really nice on that actual driveway. Again, Canon A6 Mark II, it is a simple photo, but it just shows how good this camera actually is. Moving on to the next one, this is another sunset photo. This was not going to be a little bit harder if it actually loads, if it is already loaded. But if you actually see, his hand is a little bit more in focus than these. So obviously he's not in focus. She's not crazily in focus either. It's missed a little bit and it's locked on down here. Maybe this is where I wasn't in the eye track or I was in eye track, but because they're looking away, maybe it couldn't track straight away onto that. And it is more focused down here. But it does just show that the autofocus is so good on this camera, but it doesn't always work. But to be fair, I can't remember. I don't think I would have focused down there. So obviously it has just focused down on his hand. And then moving on to another uh, one with the flash. As you can see, I'm quite high up. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to get some foreground in with these leaves and these little lights as well while framing it up with this like little twig leaf thing, whatever it was. So the actual bride and her dad is actually framed up in between these. So if we actually crop in, because I do think it takes up a little bit too much of the photo. But if we crop in a little bit, again, you can't crop in loads with the R6 Mark II because of the megapixels. But maybe if we do something like that, I think that looks a lot better. Now again, this is at night. We're at 160, 1 over 160th of a second. We're using the EF 16 to 35mm F4 this time at 35mm using F4. And then we're at ISO 200 using the Canon flash. And taking a look at it, it does look a little bit grainy as well because we're at 2000 ISO. But again, if you're looking from back here, you're really not going to notice that much. I think this camera does really well in low light anyway, even without a flash. I'm not quite sure yet how to edit some like night dance photos, to be fair. I'm not sure how far you can go because if you bring it too high up with the exposure, it doesn't look like what it was at the time because it was quite dark. But... Basically, we're not going to edit this one too much. We're just going to look at like what the camera could actually produce. And I think this cam this photo looks pretty good. I think it's a nice little perspective. Obviously, if you ignore these, if you actually crop it now, maybe to a like a one to one, maybe you can cut some of them out in the background, like the drummers and that frame up a little bit more. And then this is a lot better frame because you've got the people around the outside. You can't really see the band and around the people at the edge. And it's more focused on them. So I think this photo looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm actually really happy with how it came out. I won't do crazy edits to it because to be fair, I'm not actually entirely sure how you can edit some of these photos. Because I've never really done them before. This is my first time actually editing like night photos anyway. And overall, looking at some of these, if we actually go back, looking at some of these photos. I think the Canon R6 Mark II has done very well. 
especially this one. This will always be my favourite one of the three weddings. I think this looks amazing. The confetti looks good. It's really colourful. The colours the colors look great. The expressions look great. They're both eyes are open. They're looking down with the confetti. Again, maybe if I can lower the shadows a little bit more looking back at it, I think maybe that looks a little bit better. Again, this photo as well, I think looks really nice as well. This camera's done amazing. This photo looks pretty cool. I think all of them look quite nice as well. Apart from this one, I'm not the best on this one because it's hard with the backlight as well and obviously the focus wasn't the best. So one out of seven that I picked wasn't amazing. I think this one as well, the night, is pretty cool. Again, I haven't edited this at all, really. I've just messed around with some of them. That is the end of the video today. If you did enjoy, hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. And it will just really help me out as I'm really close to that 1,000 subs. So hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think of the Canon R6 Mark II, how the photos came out. I know I've spoke about it before and I've not showed any photos, but now this is some of the photos that I've took. So leave your comments down below what you actually think to this camera and how it performed. And again, I am actually quite sorry because my Rode NT-USB isn't working at the minute and I've plugged it in so many times and the blue light just will not come on. So the, my Rode NT-USB is not working, so I'm sorry for the audio. In this video, I did actually plug in my Rode Video Mic Go as well into the camera to actually record on. And I've literally just found out that I didn't even plug it in. So I'm actually using the M1 MacBook Air's microphone at the minute to record this video. So if it doesn't sound very good, I am really sorry, but I'm hoping to actually fix my audio situation very, very soon. So thank you very much for watching anyway, and I'll see you guys on the next one. See you later.